Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. <clears throat> May the Lord bless you all. We greet you all in Jesus' name. This is Virtual So Many Christ Ministry. May the Lord bless you all. This is our Sunday service. May the Lord bless you for joining us. We bless the name of the Lord for keeping us alive, for give, bringing us once again to sit at his feet and bless his holy name. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless Almighty God. Amen. Before we start, before we start, shall we have a word of prayer? Oh, Heavenly Father, you are beautiful. You are excellent. You are wonderful. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you for all you have been doing for us, for all you see doing for us, Almighty God. And I will say thank you, Lord, for your bringing us once again to sit at your feet and thank you, Lord, and worship you, adore you, Father, Almighty God. You created us for us to worship you, to be a worshiper. That is why you created for, for us to be a worshiper of you alone. We worship you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your compassion towards us, O Lord. We thank you for your grace, your faithfulness. Father, we bless your holy name, Jesus. And Father, as we come, Almighty God, in this service right now, we come to worship you. We come to bless you. Father, Almighty God, take all the glory of the honor and the praise of Almighty God. But I'm happy each and every one of us to worship in the spirit and in the truth in Jesus. And come and have your way, O Lord. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Amen, amen, amen. My life, I will give God my life. Oh, my life. I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime. Oh, my lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime. Oh, my lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime. I will give God my lifetime, if I give God my lifetime, he will take care of me, he will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime, oh, my lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my life, uh, he will take care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my life. Uh, Father, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you, Lord. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you, Lord. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you, Father. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you, Father. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting love for you, Lord. Everlasting Father, everlasting 
Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, with her glory for it. Oh, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory for Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory for it. Oh, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory for Be the exalted, be the magnified, be the glorified, everlasting Father, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, be the exalted, be the magnified, be the glorified, everlasting Father, everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Oh, Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Be the exalted, be the magnified, be the glorified. Everlasting Father, Everlasting Father, Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Oh, Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, be the exalted, be the magnified, be the glorified, everlasting Father, oh, everlasting Father, eh, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, oh, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, be the exalted, be the magnified, be the exalted, eh, everlasting Father. Father, oh, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. It's always just be same. Oh, precious Holy name. That is the reason why I love Him so much. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. It's always just be saved. In so listen, that is the reason why I love it so much. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. It's always just be same. Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love it so much. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus Jesus is the sweetest name I know. It's always just be same. Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so much. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. It's always just be same. Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so much. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. It's always just be saved. Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so much. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. And we like us this hour, this moment. Let us begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let us begin to bless His holy name. His worthy, His mighty, His excellent, His wonderful. Let us bless the name of the Lord, His worthy. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, ancient of the Father, we are grateful. We are thankful, Lord. Thank you for all you have been doing in our lives. Thank you for what you still doing. Thank you for what you see about to do, Father. We are so grateful. We are so thankful, Lord. Almighty God, you are excellent. God, you are wonderful. God, you are almighty God. You are Father. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We are so grateful, Father, mighty God you are. Thank you, everlasting Redeemer. Thank you for all you have been doing for us, O oh Lord. Thank you for what you see doing in our lives, O oh Lord. Father, God, take all the glory. Father, God, take all the honor. Take all the praise, O oh Lord. Father, God, we praise you. Father, God, we praise you. Father, God, we praise you. Father, God, we praise you, Lord. And we so praise you. And we so worship you. But I adore you, magnify your holy name, Lord. You are so good. You are so good, O Lord. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, we bless you. Almighty God, we bless you. Almighty God, we worship you. I adore you. We magnify your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for another Sunday of the year. Thank you, everlasting Redeemer. Thank you for your keeping us alive, Father. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for our husbands, our wives, O Lord. We thank you for each and every one of us, O Lord. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, you are worthy. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be adored. Worthy to be magnified, Father. We say thank you, Lord. You are worthy. Worthy to be praised. Almighty God, you are excellent. God, you are marvelous. God, you are great, Father. Father, we say thank you, Father. We bless you, Father. We worship you. We adore you. We magnify your holy name. We exalt your name, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We are grateful, we are thankful, Lord. And I take all the glory, Father. I take all the honor, Father. I take all the praise, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us humble ourselves before our Maker, our Savior, our Redeemer. Thank you for God. He said, If we ask, it shall be given unto us. Let us ask Him for mercy in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, Lord, my Father, Almighty God, we come to you, Father. We are ready for your mercy, 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 Lord. In any way that you are sin against you, Lord, we repent, O Lord, Father, forgive us, O Lord. As a ministry, we repent. As an individual, we repent, O Lord, Father, the sin of omission, the sin of commission that you have committed, O Lord. We repent to Lord Father, Almighty God, Father, and wash us and cleanse us, Lord, of the altar of our iniquities, O Lord, and of our iniquities, O Lord, Father, and the altar of our iniquities, O Lord, and wash us and cleanse us, O Lord, and purify 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 us, O Lord, and Father, we are asking for your mercy, O Lord. Merciful Savior, merciful Redeemer, please that they forgive us, O Lord. In any way that we are sinned against you, we are short of your glory. We plead for your mercy, we plead for your mercy, we plead for your mercy, O Lord. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, we plead for your mercy. Show us mercy, Father, show us mercy, my Lord. My Savior, my Redeemer, show us mercy, my wonderful Savior, show us mercy. We are pleading for your mercy, we are pleading for your mercy, O Lord. My Savior, my Redeemer, O Lord. And I need in any way that you are sin against you, Lord, that we beg you not to come in this service right now, not to come down now. And have a way, Almighty God. Father, we ask and we repent, O Lord. Father, forgive us, O Lord. Father, the sin of rebellion. Father, the sin of iniquity. O Lord, we ask you, Lord, the sin of disobedience to your God, Father. The sin of ignorance, O Lord. Father, we ask you for you to forgive us, Lord. We plead for your mercy, Lord. On behalf of our husband, on behalf of our children, we ask for mercy. On behalf of our family. Father, on behalf of the body of God, Father, in any way that you are sinned against you, Lord, we plead for your mercy, we plead for your mercy, O Lord, and Almighty God, Father, we plead for your mercy, in Jesus' name, we have prayed, Lord, 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 Lord,
We plead the blood of just in this service right now, Father. We plead the blood of just in each and every one of us in this ministry. And I will plead the blood of just in this ministry. We plead the blood of just in the last we meet right now, Father. And I will plead the blood of just on the air and the land of the sun that they say. We plead the blood of just in the first of the second heavens, O Lord. O Lord, my Father, O Lord, my God. And I will plead your precious blood, Jesus, my my Father, my Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus, my we plead the precious blood of Jesus, my Almighty God, my Savior, my Redeemer. We plead your precious blood of Jesus, my my Father, my Lord. We plead your precious blood of Jesus, my we plead the blood of Jesus, my we plead the precious blood of Jesus, my O Lord, my Father, my Savior, my Redeemer. We plead your precious blood of the Lamb of God, O Lord. Thank you for the precious blood of the Lamb of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the name of God. Right now, we are going to welcome our sweet Holy Spirit, our comforter, our help, our intercessor to come and help us to pray, to help us to worship our Father in the spirit and the truth. Let us welcome in our midst in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit of God, we reverence you. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome in our midst. We long do all. Holy Spirit of God, without you, we cannot do nothing. We 100% depend on you. Holy Spirit of God, come and have your way. Holy Spirit of God, come and have your way. Come and have your way. Holy Spirit Fresh, oh my God, testify Jesus Christ on Jordan. Help us to have the mind of Christ, Holy Spirit of God. Help us to worship our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer, the Spirit and the Truth. Holy Spirit of God, without you, we cannot do nothing. We depend on you. Come and have your way, sweet Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus. And so right now we are going to put on the whole among God as the word of the Lord says to you and I for, with, for us to put on the whole among God because of the wise of the because of the enemy of our soul. And let us begin to put on the whole among God right now in Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we put on your whole among God in the name of Jesus, my, my Father, my Lord. We put on the whole among God. We put on the whole among God, oh Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, the whole among God. We put on the whole among God, among our protection to protect our mind, protect our spirit, protect our soul. We put on your whole among God right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We should the whole among God cover our children, our husbands, our wives, and each and every one of us in this ministry, our family members, oh Lord. We should the whole among God cover ourselves. We put on the whole among God to able to stand against the words of the devil. We put on the whole among God, oh Lord. We thank you for the whole among God, Father. We thank you, Lord, Father. We bless you only we exalt you only father in jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Hallelujah. So as Father God says in his word that they shall surely gather, but the gather is not of God. Whosoever that gather against you, they shall fall for your sake. That is the word of the Lord. We are going to ask Father God, Father, as we gather right now, mighty God, in your presence to worship you, to adore you, Father. Any whosoever, any power that any power that gather right now, wherever they gather, because of our gathering right now, oh Lord, as they gather, Father, let them fall and scatter for our sake in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father. We ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to ask Father God, Father, as we come to worship your mighty God, Father, as the word of God is coming forth to Father, speak to me. Father, open my heart of understanding of your word. Heavenly Father, let us pray in Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, as we gather at your presence to hear from you, Lord, to worship you, Father. Heavenly Father, mighty God, as your word, we come forth to Lord, Father. Father, 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 Father,
Lord. Oh Lord, let us O Lord, when we need correction, Lord. Oh Lord, when we need instructions, instruct us, O Lord, Father, my Lord. Let your word open our heart, O Lord, to know you more. Open our heart, O Lord, to know you more, to listen, to hear you, mighty God. Oh, that mighty God, and crucify every work of flesh in our life, O Lord. Oh, that whatever the plan has of the enemy for not to for us, not to not to hear your word, not to understand your word, O Lord. Oh, let your word be, let your power come down and destroy those powers of our lives in any way, O Lord. Oh, that we to each and every one of us, O Lord. Help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word, O Lord. Oh, help us to hear your word
for the uh, praise and worship. Our Father God created you and I to worship and that is why, that is the reason that make Almighty God to create you and I to be a worshiper. Please uh, join us to worship our Father, join us to worship our Savior, our Redeemer. He deserves the glory, he deserves the worship from you to from you and me to, to, to him in the name of Jesus. Now let us join the, the, the choir right now by the grace of God. Let us join the, the, the servant of God. The, the choir in Cameroon, let us join them to worship our Father, our Savior, our Spirit, our Savior, our Redeemer in Jesus' name. I'm going to call upon the servant of God, the choir in Cameroon. May the Lord bless you, my evangelist. John, may the Lord bless you, man. You are meeting, man. I'm so sorry. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for another beautiful Sunday, another opportunity to give God praise and worship in the name of Jesus. We thank God for our brethren that just joined, even for those that are still getting ready to join us. We thank God for their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you say a word of prayer, Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you for today. We thank you for making it possible, Lord, for us to be here. We glorify your name because you are God, great and mighty. In the name of Jesus, receive all the glory, O oh Lord, even as we want to sing praise of worship, Father, praise and worship, Father, we clothe ourselves with the garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Rock of Ages. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Almighty oh, God, hallowed be the name. 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 The King of glory, hallowed be the name. The Lord of ages, hallowed be the name. The Alpha and Omega, hallowed be the name. Almighty oh, God, hallowed be the name. Oh, mighty God, oh, mighty God, you are the Jehovah Jireh, you are the Shekinah glory, you are the Alpha and Omega, oh, mighty God, oh, mighty God, oh, mighty God, Oh, mighty God, hallowed be thy name. 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 And forever you are God, and forever you are God, praising on you are God, God, for the old Lord, and forever you are God, and forever you are God, praising on you are God. Oh, holy Lord, and forever you are God, and forever you are God, praising on you are God, oh, and forever you are God. A Jehovah Jare, you are holy, holy Lord, and forever you are God. O King of glory, you are holy, holy Lord, and forever you are God. A far Omega, you are holy, holy Lord. Forever you are, and forever you are God, let you know you are holy, 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 hol
seen the Lord goodness, his mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord goodness, his mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord goodness, his mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hey, I have seen the Lord goodness, see his mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have 
been so good. You are so good to us. Oh Lord, you are excellent in our life every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You have so good to us. Oh Lord, you are Excellent in our life. I have seen the Lord goodness, his mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No one is greater than you, Lord. You are a God forever. We burn before your altar, singing holy is your name. No one is greater than you, Lord. And you are a God forever. Lord, we burn before your altar, singing holy is your name. Holy is your name. Holy is your name. And we burn before your altar, singing holy is your name. No one is faithful. No one is faithful than you, Lord. Hey, you are a God forever. Hey, we bow before your altar. Oh, singing holy is your name. No one is greater. No one is greater than you, Lord. Hey, no, I'm a God forever. That day we bow before your altar. I singing holy is your name. Holy is your name, holy is your name, Baba, and we burn before your altar, singing holy is your name, holy is your name, holy is your name. We burn before your altar, singing holy is your name. Exhorting above all the name. I know that man, the man of Calvary, exhorting above all the name. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. I will lift Jesus higher. I will lift Jesus higher. I will lift Jesus higher. Above all the Jehovah, I will lift Jesus. Yeah, I will lift Jesus. Lord, I will lift Jesus higher. Above all my maker, I will lift Jesus. Yeah, I will lift Jesus. Yeah. I will leave your name. I will leave Jesus. Yeah, I will leave Jesus. Yeah, I will leave Jesus. I yeah, above all that. Lord, I will leave Jesus. I will leave Jesus. I will leave Jesus. I Above all that, yes, I will leave Jesus higher. I will leave Jesus higher. I will leave Jesus higher. Above all that name. Oh, heaven declare the glory of the risen God. Who can compare? With the beauty of the Lord, I go. Forever you will be, oh Lord, the Lamb upon the throne, Lamb upon the throne, a glory past money, past money, washing you alone. Forever you will be. Wherever you will be, the lamb upon the throne, 
the level of the throne. A glad in bad money, a glad in bad money, and worship you in the Lord. Oh. And worship you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us begin to worship the Lord. Let us worship the King of glory. He's so mighty. He's faithful. He's the great God. He's the I am that I am. He's the mighty man thank you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we thank you. Lord, my King of glory, we thank you. We worship you, my Lord. We worship you, my King. We worship you, Jehovah Elohim. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, faithful God. You are so mighty and faithful. You are the glorious God. You are the mighty God. Thank you, Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, ma. More anointing, more grace in the name of Jesus. Christ. We thank God for the praise and worship. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus. And we are saying the moon of worshiping our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. By Him, right now, we are going to call upon Him. Say the choir, camer in choir in Cameroon for the hymn. In Jesus, and may the Lord bless you, my welcome you all. The choir in Cameroon, may the Lord bless you for the hymn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sister. Just give me a few minutes, please. Okay, thank you. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for today and that Sunday of the year. We bless the name of the Lord, His word, His word, His mighty, His excellent. Father God that loves us so much, that cares for us so much, that goes extra mile to be a blessing to you and I. We bless the name of the Lord, His word, worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be adored, worthy to be magnified. We bless the name of the Lord, Almighty God, He is wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer, great Father. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless His soul in the Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We worship Him. We adore Him. We magnify His soul. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The title of our praise the Lord. The title of our is Holy, Holy Lord. You are worthy. This thing I'm the blessed in Jesus' name. Holy, holy, Lord, you are worthy, and I am honored to sing your praise, King of glory, Lord Almighty. Hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be the name, hallowed be the name, Lord of majesty, divine authority. Hallowed be the name of creation, every nation, as it be by God, as it is done up in heaven, let it be done yet on earth, hallowed. Hello, Hello, be the name. Hello, be the name. Lord of 
Our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer, we thank you, Almighty God, for your UD, your children. Almighty God, bless them abundantly, Father. Increase them more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallowed be the name of our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for that hymn. In Jesus' name. So we are going right now, but we are going right now for our Bible reading. So we are going to call upon our brother Christ for the Bible reading. Mm. Hallelujah. Brother Christ. Yes. No? Okay, because, okay, praise Master Jesus. So Brother Chris is not ready. We didn't inform Brother Chris before. <laughs> our, our brother is not here, Brother Jesse. We bless the name of the Lord. So I will just uh, have a, let us open to the book of, um, hallelujah, the book of Psalms, uh, one, uh, that's, uh, the book of Psalms uh, one, 127. I read in Jesus' name, we bless the name of the Lord. Except the Lord build the house, then the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman watcheth, wake and walk it, but in vain. It is a vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of the sorrows. For the son he giveth his beloved sleep. Lord, the children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of their womb is his reward. Amen. As the arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that has and his equivalent full of them. Then shall not be ashamed, but they shall, they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the word of God. It said the Lord build the house. Our Father God is our builder. He's the one that guiding us. He's the one that protecting. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. So we thank God for the reading of the word of God. So right now we are going for testimony. Testimony time, blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Testimony time, blessing time. I'm waiting. I know all of us, we've got a great testimony. We are alive. We are among the living. We've got testimony. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Testimony time, blessing time. So as we are waiting, let me give my own testimony. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Uh, I just want to sing to praise him. I know I cannot thank him enough. I don't have the word that is begun enough to thank my lovely Jesus. Finish. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Oh, what shall I say unto my Redeemer? All I to say thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord all i have to say is thank you lord what shall i say unto my redeemer all i have to say is thank you lord praise master jesus Hallelujah to the Lamb of God and my testimony. My testimony, I went, I traveled, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God. I traveled for my, my daughter's wedding. 
I give all the glory, I give all the honor, I give all the praise to my Father, Almighty God. The wedding went successfully great. I just bless the name of the Lord. Oh my God, oh my God, what shall I say? What the enemy said, it will not happen. Father God, make it happen. I just bless the name of the Lord, his word. I know I cannot thank him enough for, for everything. All the people that came and God brought them safely and uh, took them home safely. None of us fell asleep, no sickness, no disease, no, no accident on the way. We arrived safely, we, we came back safely. I just want to glorify the Lord Almighty. May the Lord bless his, bless, uh, bless himself. May the Lord bless God. And God bless yourself in Jesus' name. Our God is mighty. Our God is mighty. I don't know what to say. I just want to say, Father God, bless yourself as well. Father God, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate in Jesus' name. And I thank God for each and every one of the son of the daughter of God in this forum that join me in prayer towards this uh, uh, wedding for God to establish it and uh, God establish it. I bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for each and every one of the sisters that sister in the Lord that stood by me, interceding, pray for me. I just bless the name of the Lord. And this is my testimony. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Testimony time, blessing time. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for everything that he's doing in our midst, in our life, personally, is working in each one of us. We are seeing the transformation gradually. God is going to do great things. He's going to perfect whatever he has started in our life. He's going to perfect it. So every day in our life is a day of testimony because many people are dying. Many people are getting sick. Many people are getting involved in accidents. We are no better than all those people. So being a healthy and peaceful in the sight of God, even to give us opportunity to join another Sunday service. It's not because we know how to take care of ourselves. It's the grace of God in our life. So we have the reason to testify. We have the reason to thank him as the word of God said, we cannot thank God enough. So every moment in our life is the moment of testimony. So I thank God for what is doing in each one of us life and even in our family, the things that we cannot see yet, but he's already working on it. We thank Thank God for that. That is my testimony. Amen. Amen. We thank God for that testimony. Hallelujah for the Almighty God keeping us alive. It's not uh, as uh, the servant of God said that uh, we are not better than the one that the uh, person or that that something happened to that is not really not good. We are not better than that. It's just the grace of God. We thank God. We thank God for divine protection upon each and every one of us. May the Lord bless you, ma, for that testimony in Jesus' name. Testimony time. Blessing time. Hallelujah. If there is no another testifier, no more testifier, so we are going to I thank God for the testimony. We see this testimony with the precious Lord of Jesus Christ. So I'm going to right now, we are going to welcome our follower online. We bless the name of the Lord for your life, all of you out there. We welcome you. We thank God for your life, for joining us, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you, keep you in good health in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to welcome each and every one of us in the forum. We bless the name of the Lord. I welcome, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God. I welcome uh, Evangelist Marine. I welcome Evangelist Jan. I welcome a pastor named um, James. I welcome a sister and, uh, Regine. May the Lord bless you all. I welcome a uh, brother uh, Samuel and a sister and a testimony. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. I welcome myself in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, this is the time you and I we are waiting for the word of the Lord, as the word of the Lord says to you and now that a man shall not live by bread alone, but all, all of all that we live by the word of the Lord. Man shall not live by bread alone, but the word of the Lord, each and every one of us we live by every day. That is the word of the Lord. The word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord Almighty is what you and I live by. We thank God. So right now we are going to welcome the, the servant of God to come and deliver the word of God to us. Before we welcome him, call him, we are going to pray for, for sorry, before we welcome her, sorry. Before we welcome her, we are going to, we are going to pray for her. 
for God to empower her to deliver the word of the Lord uh, boldly in Jesus. And let us pray for her. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Father, we bring your servant to you, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord, we thank you for choosing her to be the one that you will use to, to, to deliver your word to us today, Father. Father, empower her to do your yes, way to, Lord, to minister your word boldly in the name of Jesus. Father, feed her with your power, feed her, no, anoint her, Lord, to deliver your word boldly in the name of Jesus. Christ. Please, Almighty God, don't let her forget anything that you, any word that you want us to to hear the word of transformation that you want us to hear. Father, don't let her forget it. Oh Lord, help her to remember each and every one of, of, of them as she will Jesus. open her mouth. Oh Lord, Father, speak through her in the name of Joshua to us in the name of Joshua. Use her mouth to be the mouth of all your oracles, all your oracles that will minister to us in Jesus' name. And I empower her, Father, surrender her, Almighty God, with your angels, oh Lord, and your the fire for to guide her in the name of Joshua. We come against yes, every spirit of destruction, every spirit of us mind, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be with her. Father, guide her. Father, protect her, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for for, for, for her life and her family. So, Father, let your will be done in our lives, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are going to still pray for ourselves. Let God speak to us. Let us ask Father God, Father, as your word is coming for to Lord Father, or oh, speak to me. I want to hear from you, Father. Speak to me. Let us ask God to speak to us. Thank you. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Father, as your word is coming for to Lord Father, speak to me. I want to hear your voice, oh Lord. Father, speak to me, Father, speak to me anywhere that I need to change, oh Lord. Father, speak to me. I help me to know oh, Almighty God and give me the grace to change, oh my God, change for good in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, speak to me. I want to hear your beautiful voice. Speak to me, Lord. Help me to, to understand when you're speaking to me, Father. Help me to understand your word, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I welcome you, servant of God, evangelist. Marie, may the Lord bless you. Man. Amen. God bless you as well. God bless you all in Jesus' name. As you have prayed already, we are carried on with the message in Jesus' name. So the title or the topic of our message that we'll be talking today is the temple of God, hallelujah. The title is the temple of God. I'm reading the book of uh, the book of John, book of John chapter two, I start from verse 13 to 16, hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. And Jesus' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and change of money sitting. And when he has made a, a scourge of small cord, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and, and they pour out he pour out the changers, the changers' money and overthrow the tables. And he said unto them that sold doves, take these things and make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Hallelujah. And if you go all the way down from verse 19 to, to uh, verse 19 to 21, he says, Jesus said unto, unto them, this, them, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then, then said the Jews, 40, 40 and six years was this temple in building, and which thou and will thou rear, rear it up in three days, but is perk of the temple of his body. Hallelujah. So the story of uh, this Bible is talking about how our Lord Jesus was expecting when he went for his Passover, he chose to go to the temple of God. But when what he saw there, he was not, he was expecting to, to see that was happening in the temple of God. Hallelujah. Well, I wanted to bring out through this Bible reading that you read that what was going into this temple? As the temple is the temple of God, as the church building, let's just say is the church building, the ministry. The people that this, this building, 
even to Jesus to think of going there because he knew that as he was going there, it was the church, it was the temple of God that people supposed to fellowship. But what happened in this temple, it was not some, nothing like a fellowship. It was like a, a merchandise place where people were selling, people were changing money, people were doing all manner of things. The priest knew that the temple was no longer in the standard because they were reading the word of God there. So they are reading the word of God. They are going there, but they are mixed up. And they knew the word of God, but they cannot rebook what was happening there because they were also part of it. They could not rebook that we were seeing that the thing that there was no direction. Let me put it that way. There was no direction. There was not nobody that was standing in the truth that can say that, oh, this is what we are doing is not the right thing to do. It's not the right thing to do. Oh, it's not what the word of God said. Imagine somebody that is going to with the mindset that I'm going to do my business inside the church. Which Bible verse are you going to preach to this person that you focus on? You'll be focused more in his business. He'll focus more for those that are warning him. He's focused more for those that are to find customers rather than sharing the word of God. So let us say that the presence of God was not in this church. It was not in this temple. Even the Holy Spirit was not there. So Jesus seeing that what was happening, it was not there. He chased them out. He chased them out. He said, this is, the, this is supposed to be the house of prayer, not the merchandise, not the way that you people should be doing exchange. Now, my question is, when Jesus was chasing these people out, where were the priests? The priest was focusing only to see that what Jesus was doing, it was not the will of God. But there was no seeing what they were allowing people to do inside the temple of God. They were not seeing it. They were not bringing correction, but they are fighting the person that is bringing light for their, their destruction. So the priest knew that the temple became a merchandise. Instead of, uh, uh, instead of the place of prayer, they knew that the, 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 the temple became the, the place of merchandise instead of the, the, the place of worshiping God. But they were not doing anything. They was not doing that. The main purpose that we attending church or the, the attending church or attending the fellowship is for us to hear for us to worship God and to hear the word of God that will change our life, that will bring transformation in our life. But these people, the same way they were going, in the same way they were not changing, because what was it, they were listening or they were going to see there is nothing that can change life. Is everybody was doing their own benefit, their own interest. I will do this for my benefit. I will do that for my benefit. Nobody was trying to seek the law. Nobody was even interested to see, to know that this place is the place of God with no, no fear of God among them all. Because if you have the fear of God, you, you seek to know God more and you will not bring these things like that in the, inside the temple of God. You, know, you see? But today, we are also, today we also, if you was to enter the church today, if you was to go fellowship, you understand? Just try like one Sunday service. You visit the churches that is starting in the morning, starting it because you have different time of fellowship. Go and check and see what is happening inside the church. What is happening inside the church? If you see, if you visit 10 church, you see how many where your spirit will be, you'll be satisfied. You see some church, you go there. You find yourself drawn. You find yourself regretting of coming there. Because you, what you see there is distraction. It's comedy. When the pastor will be talking, the members will be laughing. No rebook of sin. No word of salvation. Not even the word that will lead people to repentance. So everything is allowed. Everything is permitted. Do whatever you want to do as long as you attend. So they are more about attendance, not about transformation, not about change. That's exactly. Because they know that if you attend, my offering is guaranteed. My tithe is guaranteed. But what about your salvation? I don't care. That's exactly what they was worried about. They was worried that the church is full. Yeah, we know that is full. But what is happening? 
What is happening? That is the problem. The no transformation of people, people are living anyhow, people are doing anyhow, because there's no word of transformation. There's no word of salvation. Because if it's somebody that is trying to bring business inside the church, inside the temple, you tell the, the, this person, you tell the person that you focus on your salvation. Because whatever you are doing now, it is zero if you have to face the, the eternity. It is zero if you have to stand before God. The person will not come and sell. He knows that selling in the house of God is bad, but who is telling him that it's bad to sell in the house of God? Nobody. The people that are knowing the truth, that were the priest, they were persecuting Jesus rather than correcting people that he was under their leadership because of fear of people. They could not. Because if you go further to other Bible verses, he will tell you that the Pharisees, they were more afraid of people than God. Because each time they went to do that, they say because of people, they refrain, they, they, they retain, they could not do it. They could not attack Jesus because of people. They could not do this because of people. They could not say that because of people. So they allow people to live their life anywhere they want, not to correct them. But it's not because they did not know. They knew, even the law of Moses, they knew from the beginning to the end. But they, they were doing it, they were not doing it. And now, if you, are, you go to the place where you see today exactly what is happening, people are doing their pastors, they are taking their pastor as the priests of those days. Hey, I'm selling, this person is selling this dove today. To another Sunday, another person will bring, because the priests are there, they are not saying anything, they are not rebooking us. If they are not rebooking us, I mean, me too, I can, I can change my money. It won't be a problem. If the person is selling sheep, we know that sheep. Imagine bringing sheep in the house of God. Imagine somebody bringing God inside the church on Sunday service to come and sell. See how serious the thing is. You understand? The smell of this thing was not even disturbing them. How can you preach the word of God when you see the sheep like that? All those uh, destruction inside the, the, the house of God. It was more than market than the house, the, the house of fellowship. There was no fellowship in God. Even the one that he was pretending to fellowship, it was not coming from their heart because the, the destruction was deep. It was too much. The people, if you see, people, are no, they, they were no longer coming to fellowship, but they were coming to sell their stuff. And I know what I'm saying. I'm not talking about guessing. I'm talking about experience, the things that I experience. The thing that I experience myself. The experience that I have where I came from, you understand, many of the time, I want to pray, I want to go to fellowship, but when I think that I'm warning this lady, by the time I will go, they should be waiting for me on the door, did you bring my money? I've not yet even sit down to say, Father, thank you for divine protection, you protect me all the way. He's already asking you, did you bring my money? So I, when you give you, you'll be forcing people in the gate. Ah, I'm selling these dresses. I'm selling these shoes. I'm selling this. You can take it. You'll be forcing, you can take it. You're giving me gradually. You forget that he forced you to take it. By the time you start, every Sunday you must be bringing something. Even if, so if you don't have money, will you come? You will not come because it should, it should be there disturbing you. Huh? These are the ones that is stopping people from being saved. Because she's there for her only interest. She's not going to that church because you want to transformation. You want God to change her. Or she wants to make heaven. She's there because she's doing a business. Now, she already knows that she's a compromiser. She doesn't want to compromise alone. She needs to carry as possible as she, she needs to carry through her business. Putting people in bondage. Forcing people to, because when somebody wants to pray, you are no longer concentrated. Oh, they is going to ask me for money. I will not go. But your heart is really pushing you to go. And the people that are preaching, the people that are preaching are there. They are seeing, they are preaching, they are seeing what is happening inside the church, but they could not stop it. They could not stop it. It's not that they are not seeing it. And most of the time, themselves that they're preaching the word of God, they are the one doing this. They are the one doing this. 
insulting one another, doing all those things inside the church. That is supposed to be the, the place that everybody, when they are, they will be comforted. You came with your problem. By the time you reach there, you have peace. You have consolation. You have all this. But no, it's the place that, you know, they're taking people out of the way. The church becomes a market. You see, they're selling things. Even the people that are preaching. You see, if you buy this book, if you buy this thing, if you buy this oil, if you buy this soap, if you buy this one, but Jesus did not sell anything. What are we selling? Even the Holy Spirit now is for sale. If you do this one, our, you want, you see people, this is abomination by people that don't want to understand that is abomination. If you're under a wrong leadership, you are, you are destroyed. The Bible says so. If you are under the leadership of these people, you know that they are not standing for the word of God. They are not preaching the word of God. You are destroyed with them. Because the Bible is, is telling us to open our eyes. It says in the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16, it says, for the leaders of these people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So if you are under a leadership of somebody that is not standing for the truth, you are destroyed. You are destroying your salvation. You are destroying your soul because they are misleading you. Just, uh, that's just like uh, those uh, leaders, those uh, uh, priests on this temple. They were misleading people and all of them, they were destroyed because none of them was right. Jesus came there, he was so annoyed that he had to destroy everything and chase them out. Because they were destroying the temple of God that people can come and find peace. People can come and find solution. People can come and confess their sin. People can come and seek for salvation. But it was there. Nothing. Nothing was happening. Jesus did not sell any soap. Did not sell any soap. Did not sell any oil. He did not sell anything. He even warned his disciple. Do not take anything with money. Freely you are receiving, freely you shall give. It's not for us to sell anything. To say to visit the, the a particular church, you have to, to have a consultation with the, a pastor that he, have, he is supposed to be there to help you. He's now for giving money. Money for consultation. Money to book an appointment. But with Jesus, nobody was to book an appointment with him. All of us, we have access. All of us, we have access. You don't need to book an appointment. You don't need to give money. Where is that spirit coming from? Who allowed this spirit to enter even the church? It's marketing stuff. We allow the world to enter into the church. Today, what is happening in, in, the, in the world, in the church, even worse than the world? It's worse than the world. You cannot get your merchandise to go to a parliament that I came to sell stuff when they are talking about their, 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 their country or the gov they're talking about the government how to, to lead the country. You cannot give the God there to say that I have my merchandise, I have my this thing. But how, why are we doing it in the house of God? Why do we allow this thing to, how, to come in the house of God? It's the lack of fear. We, don't, we lost the fear of God. That's why you see everybody now think that they can do whatever they want to do. Hmm? Some will be telling you that I prefer to sell my stuff inside the church. There, they cannot run away. They will surely get my money. And when they will not pay, it's the one that they are going to report to the, to the pastor. Eh, sister, so, so, so is not paying my money. How did it even start? We are hearing the word of God. This is the thing that nobody will talk about it. Because men, some of the ministers of God, even their wife, that's what they are doing. You see people say that, ah, I mean, my pa we are doing this, our pastor doesn't say anything. And our pastor's wife doesn't say anything because they, they are just like these Pharisees. They are seeing what is happening in the church, but they are not able to rebuke them. If this one is happening in the church, imagine what they, was happening in their own lives. 
If they cannot rebook what they are saying that is wrong, imagine what was happening in the life of these people coming to church like this, doing all this abomination like this. That's why when they were signed, because we did not read the 17 and 18, they say when they ask in 18 that which right that Jesus have to chase these people out. See, they was even complaining that who is this man that is coming to, to disturb our peace? Who is this man that is coming to disturb our peace? Who was being, who was okay, but who is this man that is coming to disturb our peace? That is coming to destroy which right that he has. He's nobody. We've been doing this for years. Nobody never came and tell us uh, and tell us this thing. Just like today, some people are saying the same thing as well. Nobody ever preached to us about uh, this one. We have to drop our makeups. We have to drop our trousers. Our pastor always allowed it. Eh? Allowed it. He said, it doesn't matter. Our heart is the one that matters. Eh? Why are you judging us? We never knew about this. No, no, no. This one is a new doctrine. It's the same doctrine, the doctrine of salvation. You know, when I came to holiness, I thought the holiness started from the day they preached to me. I didn't know that the holiness started a long time before I was born. The holiness was already there. And there are people that are following that holiness until now. Do you understand? Before I was born, the holiness was already there. In the time of my mother, people was already holy. They already have this knowledge of holiness and righteousness. Not to wear this, not to wear that. You understand? Is the enemy the same way in our those days when you were you were you were growing up? Those many, many, many skates was not existing. But today you see these children. The, the, the trousers, even the school trousers, the, the school, the school, uh, the school skirt, you see the children, they will be folding it more to, to make it more tight, more me, more shorter. I heard the law that they are debating. They have not yet put it in, 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 in they have not yet approved it, but they're debating it in a, in the parliament that they want all the school to be wearing trousers because the girls when they give them a, a skirt they see pulling it it becomes shorter so when they are kneeling down they cannot even kneel down properly they have to be like they are sitting down to collect something because of you see all of them all their nakedness and distor disturbing the, the teachers the male teachers is disturbing them you understand the number of lesbianism is increasing inside the schools the girl schools the number of, uh, uh, of gays is, in, is increasing in the school of boys because they try to put to separate them to see if it's going to work, but it's still not working. The enemy is really working hard. So whatever they are doing, the enemy is always ahead of them. Do you understand? Because the enemy is there. We need somebody that to stand to fight. Can they, who is standing? If all of us were, we were seeing things, but nobody standing, even the church cannot stand to intercede because the church is sleeping. The church allowed all those abomination things to enter inside. But in our time, all those things was not existing. The Bible is telling us the abomination will increase. If you cannot do anything now that the abomination has not yet increased, when the abomination increases, what will happen? What will happen? No wonder the Bible said that they will be shortened because of the elect sick. Because if not, nobody will be able to be raptured because the abomination is too much. And the abomination is coming and people now are getting afraid, afraid, afraid. And the love of many is waxing cold. It's waxing cold. Today, the Christian, they, don't, they are losing freedom to preach on the streets. Before was you can preach, you can shout, but today they are losing gradually. Some area you go there, they have restricted. Nobody can preach on the street. Nobody can do that. But you see the Muslim, they are, they are gaining freedom, freedom. The Muslim, they have freedom to preach in the prisons. The freedom, they have a freedom to go to the hospitals. The Muslim, they have freedom to go everywhere they want to go. But the, the Christian, they are scared of the, they give them, they are restricted. They, they, they have the place that they cannot go. They have to provide so many, so many papers, so many this, so many that. Hmm? 
Somebody actually asked me this question. How come Muslim can go to prison every time they want to, to preach? To make sure that the people don't into Muslim. But the, he said he was in that prison for one year. He did not see any Christian going and preach the word there. Because that's how the, the world is turning. They are stopping them. Even to go to the hospital, book an appointment, say, I want to go to preach to the hospital. You see what will happen. You see what will happen. That's, they are binding us gradually, gradually. That's why Jesus said, walk now that is day. Because the night is coming where you will not be able to walk again. But at least the one that you have walked now, the seed that you have sown in the heart of people, will be able to germinate when you cannot plant again. He said, plant now. Because what you are planting today is the one that is going to grow when you are not there. When you will not have opportunity, he will be doing his efforts, his effort, sorry, in their life. You understand? But these people, they were just like them. They compromise us. They are seeing things, darkness, fornication, abomination. That is happening. They could not do anything. They could not do anything to stop it. Ah, everybody's doing the same thing. Hey, it's normal. When Jesus came to Rebuke, he said, who are, you? who are you? Who are you? Which right do you have? Jesus said that, I destroy this temple. Jesus was saying that even the one that I'm, I'm, I'm having, I will destroy it. After three days, I will raise it again. He, he knew that it's going to carry the sin of every, the, the sin of everybody, the sin of the world. That's why I say that after carrying the sin of the world, he's going to crucify it, he's going to destroy it. He's going to destroy by removing all that sin and then he'll raise it again. He will raise it again. And that's going to raise it again. He's maintaining it until now, until the world will end. He's still maintaining that, that body, that new body that he raised from dead until the final judgment will come. Because he need the blood that we need for us to be clean, he needed it to come from that body. When you plead the blood of Jesus, he still having that body of mercy. Very soon, he will change that body, will become of judgment. There's no way you cry to him again to plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is not going to be available anymore. Because it's now that it's available. It's now that he can clean. It's now that he can transform. Very soon, it's not going to be available anymore. How long do we cause pain to our Lord Jesus? Because each time we plead the blood of Jesus, do you think blood comes just like that? Blood comes from the wounds. For the blood to come out, you must feel pain. You must have cuts for blood to come out. Each time we're committing sin, we are cutting it at fresh. That's why the Bible says we are crucifying him at fresh. And this feeling that pain of crucifixion. And this feeling that pain. When you say, I plead the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. You think when I plead the blood of Jesus, it's not feeling the pain of your sin. It's feeling the pain of your sin. It's feeling the pain of your sin. If you can try our best to maintain our salvation, to maintain our purity, to avoid sin in our life, he will help us. Because the pain we are causing him, if you make a mistake to die in that, in that, in that sin that you always plead the blood of Jesus and you remain on it, if you die by it, you, don't, you will not like the punishment of it. The punishment of those that know not the truth is even worse. It's already bad. Imagine those that know the truth and they crucify the son of God at fresh. Imagine the pain. Jesus was cleansing the temple of God because the abomination was so much. He cleans it. He reverses it. He destroys it. We have to, to destroy this temple of sin as well. We need to destroy all this the temple that you are allowing everything to go, everything to be there. Yeah. You use your body anyhow. You put in your body whatever you want to put. You think that ah, nobody is telling you. They are seeing you. They are not telling you anything and you think it's okay. 
And when eventually you see somebody that is telling you that this thing is bad, you say, who are you? Which right do you have? My pastor never tell me that. Yes, these people, they say the same thing. The priests that are preaching in this temple, they never destroy our staff. Who are you to come and destroy our staff? You've been hearing the word of God. They are telling you that this world, this thing is bad, yet you are not doing anything. The Bible is telling us in the book of 1 Corinthians, let us turn there. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, 16 to, uh, chapter 3, 16 to, uh, to 17. 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 6, it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple are ye? Which temple are ye when you are putting all this abomination inside? Which temple are these people was? Because it was not the temple of God. It was the merchandise. It was like a marketplace. It was no longer the temple of God. That's why Jesus said, this my, my father's house is the, the house of prayer. It's not the house of merchandise that you can come and bring your stuff, whatever we want. This our temple, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's not the temple that you can put anything, any abomination thing or any idol thing because it, does, it, it doesn't belong to you. Because the Bible says, if any man that defiles this temple that is supposed to be the temple of the Holy Spirit, him God will destroy he destroyed the same way Jesus destroyed those merchandise of those people that were selling in the temple because he's not supposed to maintain it there. And it's supposed to be there. He said you destroy all this thing. And if you go forth in the book of, we're still in the, in the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 this time. Let's read, uh, let's read uh, 15 to 20. He say, know ye not that your body are the member of the uh, the member of Christ? Shall then shall I then take the member of Christ and make them the, the member of an lot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he, that he which is joined to an lot is one body? For two said shall be one flesh, but he that is joined into the law is one spirit. Free fornication, every sin that a man does is without out the body, without the body. But he that commits fornication sinners against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are of God. Hallelujah. So you see here, even our body, we cannot use our body or the members of our body. When you talk about the members of our body, we are talking about our eyes, our mouth, our ears, our heart, you understand, our hands, our legs, those that are using the, the members of our body, we should not use it anyhow. As the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 6, the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 13 is telling us that we should not help. Let us go there. Romans chapter 6 verse 13. He said, neither yield ye your members as instrument of unrighteousness unto sin, but ye held yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your member as instrument of righteousness unto God. Because the, the, when Jesus said that I will destroy this temple after three days, I will raise it again. He was talking about the, the, the symbol of baptism today. He said, we died with Christ and we raised with him. So we, 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 we kill the flesh of sin, which is our body, and we raise up with the mind of Christ and to live our life as Christ-like, to follow the righteousness of God. That means the thing that you used to do or you used to wear or you used to, the way you used to go before Christ, you have to change automatically. 
because you are no longer that person. And when you destroy the flesh, when you say the flesh is dead, with the desire of it, the, the deeds of that flesh need to die, need to stay in that water. And you now are raised with the mind of Christ, that you are thinking like Christ. You are no longer thinking like this world. You are no longer thinking like a spirit of Jezebel in you, because that spirit, you have killed it. And you become now a new person. You raise up from the dead. That's why we call ourselves now born again. How can you be born again when you have not yet died? You must die first. When you raise up, you raise as a new, as a born again. That's why we say again, because you was born before we sinned. Now you died in sin. And now Jesus raised you up as a new person. That's why we said that anybody that is in Christ is a new creator. It's not that God created you that moment. If you are new creator, because that the one that he was created before, he was polluted by Satan. Now, Jesus, you have come to the knowledge of truth. You repented, and God created now a new you. He's no longer a old you. And he said, a whole thing has passed away now. You are born again. Your old you still follow you into the church. The old you is still present in the presence of God. You're coming to worship God with all the abomination. Even to, come, to become born again, people are still selecting. I'll kill this one. I'll still remain this one. I'll maintain this one. I'll still hold this one. I'll still do this one. We are still selecting. You are not yet born again. You have to destroy the first temple that the enemy has come to sit there with idols, with demons, with pollution. We have to destroy it and to now provide the new temple where you accommodate the word of God, the Holy Spirit to come now to sit there, to start leading our steps, to lead us the way that we go, the way of the Lord, to allow the Holy Spirit to teach us. How can the Holy Spirit teach you when you accommodate idol in your heart? When your body is led by the spirit of the world, how can the Holy Spirit take over? And he started teaching you. How can he teach you? Because when you become the Holy Spirit, the, 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 the Bible said the Spirit of God will dwell in you. How can the Spirit of God down tamper with demons, tamper with idols? He's too holy. He cannot accommodate sin. He's too holy to accommodate all those things. That God you understand, who understand God, you understand what? You already passed the stage of repentance. You already know the thing that is polluting you. You repented. When you repent, the Bible says it's not just to repent, it's not it's repenting alone, it doesn't do anything. Repenting alone is nothing without conversion. Repenting alone, you said that I have repented, you are still in it. I repented. You are still sitting on the, on the same place. You are repented. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 3, it says, repent yet therefore and be what? Be converted. That means when you are repent, you change. You cannot remain the same person. You have to be converted. Converted is transformation to one thing to another. The Bible says Jesus converted water to wine. There's no place that said the wine they went back to water. The wine remained wine. That is the conversion that the Bible is talking about. You see, the good conversion, when you say repent, you repent, you are still there. You are just repenting like a snake. Snake, when it's old, it will change the skin. You become like a, the skin, you become new, but the venous is still old venous. If it bites you when it was old snake, and it bites you after changing the skin, it's the effect of the venom still the same. But the good conversion is the one of the butterfly. If you read the story of butterfly, it was not born as a butterfly. Butterfly was not born as a butterfly. It was born as a caterpillar. Without the form of caterpillar. If you see caterpillar, you see Yee, caterpillar. But when it transformed to a, fly, to a butterfly, you say, oh, look at beautiful butterfly. 
The caterpillar will not die as a caterpillar. The same way the, 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 the butterfly, you will not return, you will not die as a caterpillar. There's no way you see the story of butterfly. It become a caterpillar and then it turn to a butterfly and then it change again. When you fly, it fly. It did not like the way it was, it was uh, appreciated as a butterfly. It went back to caterpillar. It doesn't exist. That is the kind of transformation God wants us to have. The same way it turned the water to wine. The water did not turn back to, to the, the wine did not turn back to the water. But when you say you are born again, yes, you have to be born again indeed. Not to go back to the thing that you used to do. Because I tried the life of Christianity. It's too much challenges. It's too much trial. It's not the way that I think it will be. Let me go back to my world life. It's a one-way decision. It's not a turning back that when you go, you don't like it, you turn back. By turning back, you're putting your salvation into danger. You're putting your life into danger. When they say this thing is not good, maybe you have not heard it before. Now, somebody that is not your pastor is coming to tell you that it's not good to do the house of God, to turn it into the idol. But you say that, oh, because my pastor has not told me, then you are, not, you are not right, you are wrong. These people, probably they say to Jesus the same thing. The priest never told us to stop. Why are you coming to destroy our staff? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? They, revo they, they, they get angry with Jesus. They were upset because Jesus came to do what the priest of this, church, the, this temple was not able to do to them. They were so comfortable in their sinful life until Jesus appeared to correct them. But then, did they accept the correction? They turned against him. Maybe today you are hearing somebody telling you that my sister, this way of living, it will lead you to hell. This way of living, it will, ah, my pastor always see us. He never complained about my makeup. He never complained about my trousers. Even my bleaching, I see bleaching. Uh -huh. The body that you are bleaching, is it your, your, your own? The body that you are polluting with tattoo, is it your own? The owner is waiting for you. He's waiting for you. And the day that is going to ask you all this question that you are hearing today, it's not going to give you a chance for you to correct because it will be too late. The day of judgment is not the day of you to give, to, to explain anything. The time of correction is now. It's now that is giving us time. It's giving us time to check ourselves, to destroy the thing that is, is polluting our temple, to remove them, to draw them out of our lives. To remove them out of our life. Because that thing is going to condemn us. Many people, they don't like our ways of preaching because somebody, a pastor, a people told me, why you always talk about sin? You ne I never see you preaching about love. You always talk about sin. You always would like to condemn people to say that, oh, they have bitterness, they have anger. Why you always mention all those things? You are, you are judging people. You are condemning people. I will continue to preach this one because this ministry is all about warning. It's to warn people, the things that can lead them to hell. For them to repent, we have to mention them. When Jesus first started his ministry, he did not start it with love one another. He said, repent ye for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus did not come, he, he, he came to show us love through repentance. The love for us to be saved, for our soul to be saved, we need to repent. That's why you see, he went into that cross. That is the love. Love of God is sacrifice. If you love God, you cannot sacrifice your lifestyle. You cannot drop what is giving you pleasure. And you say you love God and you want to preach about love. You are preaching about love. People are, 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 are still lying. People are still committing things that is not pleasing God. It's the kind of love that it love, the true love of God is to save soul, not to condemn them, not to leave them comfortable in their sin. Many people, they don't know the things that is leading them to hell. They only know sin. What is sin? What is sin? 
there is sin and there is iniquity. There is disease and there is what? There was sickness. There will be why the, 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 the word is called the sickness and disease. Is it not two different things? Two of them, if you don't take good care of them, they will lead you to death. There are diseases that will just kill you, that will become cancer and kill you. The sickness that will just turn to something and kill you. Iniquity and sin. Some of them, they are aware of the situation that they are living, but they don't want to change. They don't want to change. And if you don't tell them, how will they know? Because even the ministers of God, they are committing iniquity. I just mentioned this and the priest, they were there, they are full of iniquity because they knew the truth. They knew that this temple is supposed to be the worship place. It's not the place of the people, the people to come in to be selling their stuff, but they allowed all those pollutants to enter the church, to enter the temple of God. The same way we allowed in the pollutants to, to enter. I was in the place for 15 good years. Hey, blindness is another level. 15 good years. I'm not hearing repentance. The only prayer that they pray is to kill, 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 and destroy. The people that are not getting married, maybe in your father's side, in your mother's side, they start sending the fire to kill them. If that witch will not die, your life will not change. Start killing that witch to die. Pull, 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 you'll be sending fire. I've been sending fire for 15 years. My life did not change. No, we need to we need to say these things. People are in bondage and they don't even know that they're in bondage. Fire, 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 fire. If you if, if I learned how to put makeup in that church. I grown up, I did not like makeup. Each time I put makeup, I'll be ashamed to go out. I feel so embarrassed. Like, yeah, why am I putting this thing? But in that church, they force me. They say that I have a spiritual husband. That's why I look old, because I'm not putting makeup. They say I have to be putting makeup to look fresh, not knowing that they was putting me in bondage of the queen of the coast. You understand? Why? Because I didn't have knowledge to the word of God. But when I went to the place that they told me that if I die today, I was, in fact, I was already waiting in the gate of hell. I changed my mind. And I was reading the word of God. I was asking God for confirmation. And God was confirming everything that the Bible was saying. In fact, we are not preaching our own mind. You are preaching the word of God. How can you say that you are putting is our own words? Even if your pastor did not tell you, is it not the word of God that is going to judge each one of us? It's the word of God that you need to obey. It's the word of God that you are going to obey. You understand? Many people, they don't know. He said that, ah, nobody ever told us. We meet, uh, we meet one pastor who was coming from Bible study. We were like four sisters. I was dropping them to the station so that they can find their way to go. And you met this man. Immediately, he saw, as he said, oh, daughters of Sarah. We turned, we look at him. He said, how do you know that you are daughters of Sarah? The way you people are dressed, just like the, the, how the Bible said, how the Bible described the daughters of Sarah. You covered your hair, you covered your body, you have long skirt. I say, so you know the word of God? He said, yes, because I'm a pastor. I say, are you preaching this word to your, are you telling your member, hey, you know, our, this is the message of the whole members. If you preach it today, everybody, they will run away, a pastor. But he have that knowledge. Is it different from this priest? That he will see all this abomination in the temple, but he cannot rebuke them. Because they knew that because they was afraid of people, if they tell these people, these people will turn against them. You understand? Just like that pastor. He have the knowledge. He know that this is the, the standard of God, but he's afraid because he's going to lose members. If God really called you, he will give you members. He will give you members. It's not everybody have, that you have to have thousand. He said to some, we give five. To another one, he give two. To another one, he give one. It's not all of us that you have the church full. Be content of what God gives you. 
Don't compare your life with others because what God is giving you is going to give, you're going to give account according to the number that you have. You're going to give an account according to the number that you have. Now, if you mislead those numbers that God has given to you, you're compromising your own salvation. That's we read it in the, in the book of Isaiah. Those leaders that are mislead, are leading people are, are on air. All of them, they'll be destroyed. Now, how many people that are misleading? How many people that follow Jesus on that day to say that, oh, you are the right person? How many? Most of them was against him because of the priest. Because of the priest. Because they was like, the priest said, no better than us. They know the law of Moses. They have experience. They have assigned to be the one to lead us. If they're not complaining about our, our, our routine and the things that you are doing, that means you are not doing anything wrong. If the pastor is not telling us that makeup is sin, trust is sin, he said we should concentrate on our heart. And the Bible said the heart, we should keep our heart with all diligence because in the issue of, of life is in our heart. Because our heart is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our heart is the house of God. When the Bible says God lives in you, he's talking about living in your face, living in your leg. No, it's living inside your heart because your heart is the engineer of everything. Your heart is the one that you need to be circumcised to accommodate the word of God so that you'll be saved. Your heart is the one that is sending loss into your eyes or your eyes sending loss into your heart. Do you understand? Whatever sin that you are committing, it starts from our heart. You cannot hate somebody if your heart did not accept it. Because the malice will see the enemy went to want to attack somebody. He attacked in our heart because he knows that immediately, immediately he wins your heart. You're already captured. Because the Bible said the issue of life is in our heart. That's why we need to keep our heart with all diligence. If your heart is not circumcised, even the word of your mouth will be compromised. You'll be saying things that, you know, people around you will be doubting. Are you really a child of God? Because the state of your heart, it doesn't go with the world that you know. May the Lord help us to destroy this temple and to have, to accommodate, to allow the temple of God to cleanse so that the spirit of God will come and take over, will take place to lead us. You understand? We should say you should not allow the members of our body to be an instrument of unrighteousness unto God. That means don't allow your eyes to lose after the thing that you make you to compromise. You know allowed your ears. You understand? It's true, as the Bible said, that the faith comes by hearing. Hearing what? Hearing the word of God. The sin also coming by hearing so many ungodly things. One day, I was passing by. And the place that I was, there was this music that he was playing. Not, because I hear this music more than, is it five minutes? Is it less than five minutes? I came home. I'm hearing within me that music repeating the way I started firing prayer. I say, in Jesus' name, you demon. You demon from the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> you want to pollute my ear? <laughs> It's true what I'm saying. <laughs> I say, how did you start it? You, you demon of music. <laughs> you demon of your music. I start firing prayer. I say, hi. You cannot pollute me in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. And that's how I was cleansing my ears with the blood of Jesus. Purifying me my heart with the blood of Jesus. It's true. I say, ah. Only five minutes that I was passing is enough for enemy to plant something in my heart. God forbid. That's why the Bible says we should pray without ceasing. We should pray without ceasing. The enemy is after our hearts. 
And God needs our hearts as well. So this is the battle that is happening. The enemy wants to have you, but if you allow God to take place, the word of God to enter your heart, that's how you'll be leading your whole body. You'll be leading your whole body because you already have that knowledge. I like the way uh, uh, Job rebuked himself. He said, I made covenant with my eyes because he knew the eyes. He was already making him to compromise. He said, I made covenant with my eyes. How can I be looking my meds? Eh? How can I be looking on my meds in a different way? He said, if the problem in my eyes is my eyes that you need to circumcise, Lord. Do you understand? We already know that every idle word that proceeds in, the, out of, in, the, in our mouth will give an account. Start now controlling, make any effort. Do you understand? Start praying, Father. Give me the grace to control. When you know that he, he's stronger than you, pray the blood of Jesus. He repent. This is why the Bible says we should be sober, to be vigilant. Because the time we are living now is getting dangerous. Apostle Paul said, now our salvation is more near than where you are started. Now we are getting closer. Now we know the thing is happening. I see two different bo two boys in a different country preaching the word of God. One of them, his name is Manasseh. A boy is not even 12 years, but the way he's using is preaching the word of God with power. I said, God, this is the book of Joel being fulfilled in the life of this boy. Another one in Brazil, when he, that boy is preaching, is rebuking sin, people in the, in the church, they are crying. The, all the, the other people, they bow their head, they are crying because of the world, the powerful world that is coming in the mouth of this boy. Why? Because the elders one, the priests, the ministers have compromised. Now God is using the children to fulfill his word. He said, in the later day, I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. Today we are seeing the children are preaching. Very soon you, we are seeing things are happening. Hmm? The shop is already started. They start removing people. They are replacing them with robots. The bank in the UK, they already start closing. Very soon you see that, oh, there's no more physical contact. If you don't have the mark, you don't do that. We know that all these things, the preparation of the church and the preparation of the Antichrist. But the church needs to prepare as Antichrist is preparing. We too, we need to prepare to know that the coming of our Lord Jesus is near. But most of us, we are still seeing that, that we are still living like the time of Noah, even worse than the time of Noah. Because the time of Noah, you tell me that these people, there was no asking Noah, why are you building this ark? The curious people were there to ask. And Noah was telling them, because God is about to destroy the world. But yet they were distracted. In the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, God gave opportunity. You see the love of God, eh? The, the, bro, the, the brothers in law, the brothers of uh, the brother in law of uh, Lot, they were no Christian, but God gave them law, they gave them the last minute grace through Lot for them to be saved. Say, if you have any other person that you want to save, go and tell them. God sent Lot to go and tell his in law. The Bible says he was telling them, but they neglected, they did not listen until they saw fire. Even the Lord's wife that he have an opportunity to come out because of the loss of the eyes, because of what he has gained so far. How can I lose all this? Where am I going to get another one? He perished with it. May the Lord help us. Help us to cleanse the temple of God, to sanctify us, to bring the Holy Spirit back. Take away the spirit of Jezebel out of you. The thing that you used to do with your body, now you know that it's not your own. You need to return it back to the owner, the way you received it, without tattoo, without bleaching, without fake hair, you have fake lashes, you have to trust us without any other thing. Maintain the standard of God. May the Lord bless us all as we listen to this word. May he not stand against us in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, Mother Fisher. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you, man. We thank God for this message. 
We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good. May the Lord give each and every one of us ear to understand the word of the Lord because no, as the servant of God was speaking, she was speaking, it's really, we have to really think twice. We see, maybe you are in the church right now, the church, they don't rebuke you for nothing. They don't rebuke you for, for the things that is not right. The things that will lead you away from the Lord. Now you are hearing from the servant of God right now telling you, he's not asking you, she's not asking you to bring money. She's not asking you to see, sow a seed, a seed of, for, for you to buy a car, a seed of for you to build a house or a seed of for you you bring a seed. Is She's not asking you for that money. It's not asking for any seed. It's just asking you for your soul, for you to take care of your own soul, not for her soul, for your own soul. So you cannot right now condemn her, say that why she's saying this, my church is not doing this, my church is not saying it. But, you know, as she said already, she said it because of the compromise, they are compromising. Your pastor is a compromiser. He will never tell you what will make you to run away that you will not be bringing the seed, the so seed. You know, some of the churches, you go to the church on Sunday, so uh, uh, offering, I don't know how many times they will, they will take, collect offering from you, offering for this, offering for this, offering for this, offering for that. And but they are not telling you, <laughs> one day you will close your eye in death. Have you prepared where you will spend your eternity? The offering they are collecting from you, offering from there, where, where is it in the Bible that... Uh, when they were doing the, when Jesus Christ is preaching, after preaching, the Jesus Christ said, bring up free for your children, bring up free for your husband, bring up free for your wife, bring up free for this or your house, bring up free for your cat, bring up free for your, for your dog. No, not at all. Not at all. Because we wanted to, 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 collect what the, what, what is in the pocket of the children of God. And many of us, we don't know. We really believe that uh, that offering, they ask you for this offering, this offering, this offering, is that time God will bless you. God is a good God. God will bless you. Even though you don't bring offering, that God will bless you. What you, you know, you don't bring off you, you know that ah, one day when you close your eye in dead, when you close your eye in dead, the mansion that beauty for you, then something has to be there. You have to bring offering to the house of God. But not uh, every time you have to, to say, bring offering for the, how many times you, they have to ask you for offering every Sunday? Hallelujah. So they are not telling you for you to, to, to watch over your soul. Because your soul, one day you will live. Your soul, your soul will live in somewhere. Your soul will live in heaven or hell fire. But it's now you and I have to decide where our, our soul will live. It's heaven. Let us let us choose heaven. Let us choose heaven. Not just to just not to say it in our mouth, in our lips. We we live in the heaven. We when we pass on this earth, we will live with Father God. When you know you are not living right right now, you are not living the right the a life of righteousness, a life of holiness right now. So we should not use our body as a, on, on on instrument on on righteousness. The unrighteousness to, to being our, our body being an instrument of unrighteousness. Please let us change our ways. Let us change our way. As we are hearing right now, we have the opportunity to change. Because we never know the day, our, our day we expired. Please, don't, this word coming right now comes to you and I. It's not to condemn you. It's not to condemn, to condemn you and I. Is to correct you and I. If you are in that job that telling you that is only you 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 is only you 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 dress is only you you do the things of the world. It doesn't matter. You do them. You lie. You 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 hate people. You it doesn't matter. You confess only once the day you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior, your sins has been forgiven. That is all. You don't have to ask for mercy. You don't have to repent. You can see, you can see, live in the sin. They are lying to you. They are lying to you. You bring it things to say in the house of God. That is why you and I must read the word of the Lord. As Lord Jesus Christ rebuked those people that were selling in the house of God. Do you think on that day when you close your eye in death, you are selling the house of God, that God now, when you close your eye in death, then he will not rebuke you? 
He will rebuke you. He rebuke. He rebuke people by then. It will still re the same thing we do for the person that this that disobey his word. He will rebuke that person. That is why the word of the Lord told you and I that uh, on that day, Lord Jesus Christ, on that day, they will say to me, Lord, 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 Lord. Yes, they will say to me, Him, Lord, Lord. I did this. I did this. I did it. I did it. He said, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't know you. So when you are bringing things in the house of God, selling things in the house of God, you think you will go free? No, you better change it. You better stop it. Stop it. Because on that day, God, Lord Jesus Christ will rebuke you. Say, I don't know you, you workers of iniquity. As the servant of God, she says that, that the, the, the priest, they, they were not rebuking that one that bringing all those things to say in the house of God. Same with your pastor right now. It's not rebuking you. Remember, it's not rebuking you. The God that holds it short will rebuke you on that day. Better you change. Better I change right now. You are not with God the chance. We got the opportunity right now to repent. Ask of mercy. He will forgive you and I. May the Lord bless you, servant of God. We thank, you. We thank God for this message. And the Lord give us the grace to change, to amend our ways before he will call us home. We should not say, I, uh, the day I will, uh, God will call me home, uh, is that day I will repent. But you don't know that day. That is the thing. That is what God is God. We cannot cheat him. He said, what a man, the word of the Lord, what, 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 what man saw it, that is what mouth shall reap. Anything that you, that you and I will sow, that is what we will reap. So we cannot sow corn and the, the, and the, and the, and the, and the harvest, uh, what is it called, the beans. The corn that you sow, is that corn, the, the, when, the time of harvesting of corn is the corn that you will reap. So righteousness right now, you will reap righteousness when it is time. Somebody that saw evil, it will reap evil. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for this message. So we are going to ask Father God to give us the grace. To give us the grace to, to, to care for our, our, our temple, the temple of God, the temple of God that Almighty God has given to us. Not to destroy it. Because he said he will destroy the one that destroyed his temple. Father, give us the grace not to destroy the temple. Give us the grace to maintain this temple that you, you have given to us. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of kings, the Lord of Lord, the Asians of the Father, we thank you for your word that comes O oh Lord. As you said, our temple, our body is your temple, Father. Give us the grace, Almighty God, Father, to maintain the temple of you, Almighty God. Father, help us not to destroy this temple, Father. As you said, who's destroyed the temple? You will destroy your temple. We will do, you will destroy that person. Heavenly Father, help us not to destroy, not to do something that will destroy this temple, O oh Lord. Father, give us the grace in in the name of Jesus, my Father, anything that we are doing that is not pleasing to you, Father, we repent to Lord. Father, show us. Oh, mercy, in the name of Jesus, Father, show us mercy, Father. Have mercy upon each and every one of us, O Lord. Father, we repent on behalf of our family members, O Lord, that doing something that is not good in that temple that you have given to them, Father, we ask you. Father, forgive us, O Lord, our iniquities, O Lord, Father. We ask you to purge us, O Lord, to cleanse us, O Lord, from all righteousness, O Lord. Please, my Father, please, my Lord, help us to maintain the temples and the temple, your temple that you gave you, give it to us, O Lord. Please, my Father, my Lord, we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are still praying for ourselves. We are still praying for, we are going to ask Father God to give us the spirit of obedience, to be obedient to, to the word of God. No, but not, not the time that you and I hearing the word of God, true word of God. We are saying, but, 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 no, but. You and I must be, be, be ready to say yes to the truth. It's like a soldier. A soldier, I, I army. Mean, it's like a soldier. It's like an army people. You don't see them. The, the, the captain is giving them command, giving them order. They are telling them, but, hey, wait, who, 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 who bond that soldier? That way, when the the um, when the, the the captain giving a, uh, uh, an order, they will say, "But I will." But it, the punishment that we give to you, oh my God, the, that soldier will know. The next time we never know, but yes, sir. Immediately they are hearing any word, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Then we do it. 
So we let us be, be children of obedient, obedient children of God. The moment we know this is the word of God, this is the true word of God, we say, yes, sir, Lord. We are we accept, we accept what we are hearing, Father God. So let us ask Father God, let us ask Father God to give for the spirit of obedience of his word. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, we are coming to you, Father. Give us the spirit of obedience to you, obey your word. As we are hearing the word of truth, oh my God, help us not to say but, help us not to compromise, help us to obey you in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. We are asking for your spirit of obedience, oh Lord. Give us the spirit of obedience to obey your word, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. Help us, oh Lord, help us, oh Lord. Papa, Almighty God, we need your help, oh Lord, Father, help us obey you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord, give us the grace, O oh Lord. Father, every spirit of disobedience, Father, cast it away from us, O oh Lord. Grant every spirit of disobedience away from us, O oh Lord, and give us the grace to obey you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord, we ask you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us pray for the servant of God. Home God has used, used to be a blessing to us so for more anointing, for more grace. Every virtue that went out of her, for God to replenish unto her in Jesus' name. For God to build the hedge of protection around her in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for her, oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God. We thank you for your servant. We thank you for choosing her to be a blessing to us, Father. Almighty God, we thank you, Almighty God. Father, Almighty God, each other for us to use her to be a blessing to us, Father. We ask you to bless her in return in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, strengthen her, Father, empower her, Father, the virtue that went out of her, Lord, Father, replenish unto her in the name of Jesus, Christ. Father, any power, any spirit, any personality that want to attack her, attack her family because of this message, Father, let your spirit raise the standard against them in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, Father, fight her battle for her in the name of Jesus, Christ. Father, hold her with you, hold her with your hand, O Lord, Father, strengthen her, Lord, to follow you to the end, O Lord, Father, be with her, Father, guide her, Father, protect her, the family, Father, we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father God, we thank you. We see this message with your precious blood of Jesus Christ. But now your sons, you wrote that you want to use this message to transform, Father, connect them, O Lord, to listen to this message for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now we are going for our contribution. I will call upon the servant of God, Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, man. Thank you, my sister. And God bless you too in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to thank God for this message. Uh, this uh, is the message that, you know, people people are dodging it. They don't want to preach it again. But we thank God that we can still hear it again in the name of Jesus Christ. We are now going to enter about for our contribution. We are talking here about our tithes and offering. Amen. We have to do the other one without forgetting to this one so let us go now for our contribution you are tight you are offering as you will be singing this song you will be preparing your tight and your offering remember that your tight is the 10 percent of your income or the 10 percent of your profit and you are offering as god lead you so i will be singing this song while you'll be preparing it in the mighty name of jesus christ let us pray what a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's here to do marvelous things again. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he has done marvelous things for us. Oh, what a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's here to do marvelous things again. The thing our father could not do, the thing called impossible, those are the things he has done for us. He's the unchangeable God and the reliable God. He will do it again and again. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things. For marvelous father, what a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things again. Father, unto to you be your the glory, be your the honor, 
Be all the glory and adoration for it. All of of ages unto you, Daddy. Be all the glory unto you, Jehovah. Be all the honor unto you, ancients of the be all the glory and adoration forevermore. Hallelujah. Let us pray for our offering and diet in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord, for the opportunity given for us as the dead cannot give offering and diet. Father, Lord God Almighty, we thank you that we are alive. We thank you for the opportunity given unto us. We present our offering and diet before you. We pray thee, Lord God, that may you glorify yourself in it, in the mighty name of Jesus. Multiply it, O Lord God Almighty, as we pray, as we are doing the work of the, the work of your us. Remember your children, Father. Bless them in return, Almighty God. Even those that have not today, Father, remember them in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll cover our tithe and offering with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise, Master Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you, man, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are going for our announcements right now. Uh, weekly, our weekly announcements. Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, and uh, Thursdays uh, at uh, 1 p.m. London time. Pray with us, season. Please, if you have time to join us, please do so in Jesus' name. Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays at uh, midnight London prayer. Midnight prayer, please. If you have time to to join uh, at midnight, please do uh, do so in Jesus' name. So uh, we have a uh, children, uh, godly children in Christ. Uh, Saturdays uh, at an, uh, 6 p.m. London time. Please, if you have children, bring them, let them come and learn the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. God Almighty will reward you for it in Jesus' name. So on uh, Mondays, a uh, Bible study twice in a month at uh, 8 p.m. London time. Please, if you have time, join us. Let us study the word of God together in Jesus' name. So we still have on uh, Mondays, a uh, virtual sermon time uh, twice a month on Mondays as well. At uh, 8 uh, p.m. London time, please join us. We are learning, we are learning. As we are learning, we are growing by the help of the Holy Spirit. He's our teacher, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. So weekly, the uh, night and uh, vision, every uh, Fridays at 11 p.m. London time. Please join us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. As Father God says in his word that uh, we should not sleep like others are sleeping. Stand for your family. Stand for yourself and stand for your family in Jesus' name. Because the enemy of our soul, they are not sleeping. They are not sleeping. They are out there to do evil. As Father God, Lord Jesus Christ said, why men slept? The enemy came to do what? So test. So let us stand up and uh, do uh, Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Sundays are serving uh, our Sunday service at uh, 4 p.m. 4 30 p.m. We are just uh, rounding up right now. Please join us next week in Jesus' name. Amen. Every first uh, Sunday of uh, each month, a uh, holy communion. Please uh, join us in the first uh, first Sunday of the month, next month, by the grace of God. In Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ told you and I, the word of the Lord said, do it in remembrance of in the communion. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So every first and the week of the month, we have a fasting and prayer to dedicate the month into God's hand. Please join us next, mo next month by the grace of God in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. This is our weekly announcements. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So I'm going to welcome our 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 our, our leader by the help of the Holy Spirit to come and uh, give us the benediction. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, Evangelist. Amen. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you for your word, O oh Lord, Father, that you have given to us, O oh Lord, Father, to check our temple, O oh Lord, Father, to cleanse our temple, O oh Lord, Father, to restore it back, O oh Lord, Father, where you have started with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the grace, O oh Lord, Father, and your mercy continuously in our life. 
to teach us, O oh Lord Father, how to maintain, O oh Lord Father, the temple and how to avoid all those pollution, Lord Father, in the temple that is supposed to maintain for the Holy Spirit. Father, give us that grace, O oh Lord Father. Alone we cannot do it, O oh Lord Father. We need your intervention in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we heard, O oh Lord Father, the word of God, O oh Lord Father, those that are heard it, O oh Lord Father, give them the same grace, O oh Lord Father, to maintain it, O oh Lord that the enemy will not come and steal it from us. Father, give us the spirit of obedience, O Lord, Father, into your word, O Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Only the obedience, O Lord, Father, that will make us, O Lord, Father, to maintain your word in our heart, O Lord. Father, sanctify our heart, O Lord, Father, purify our heart, O Lord, Father, remove the false skin of sin in our heart, O Lord. Father, let our heart, O Lord, Father, accommodate the Holy Spirit, O Lord, Father, to bring transformation, to teach us the things that we need to learn as we run this race in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for reminding us again, O Lord, Father, how to keep ourselves holy in Jesus name. Thank you, Father. We cover this message with the blood of Jesus. We cover those ears that have heard this message, Lord, Father, with the blood of Jesus, that the enemy will not steal it from them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we come to the end, let us share the grace and fellowship together. Amen. 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 The goodness and mercy of the Lord shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Few seconds, silence, please. Amen. God bless you all. Shalom, 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 shalom. My phone is.